Hi, and welcome to your next video in computer science for everyone. Let's talk about while loops and try to program some of them. So the first thing I've done here is I've created a class called while loop, and it has a main method. And so I'm just going to write a small description of this class in Java documentation. I'm the author, and date is the 28th of December 2013. Okay, so let's create a while loop. If you remember, then while loop has a while, two brackets, and then two curly braces, and everything that's between these two curly braces is going to get repeated the number of times as specified by the comparison that goes inside the brackets. So here, if we put true, it just repeats over and over and over again. Let's see how this actually happens. I'm going to run this, and it's going to repeat hello many times. It's actually going to repeat hello until I tell it to stop. So as you can see, it's just going and going. I'm just going to stop it with the red square there. Okay, so we've printed hello a fair number of times. Now let's try to print hello depending on the value that the user gives us. So if the user gives us the value 5, we'll print 5 hellos. If he gives us the value 10, we'll print 10 hellos. The first thing to do is create our scanner object. As we know. So we'll create the scanner. We need to import the scanner as well. And then we'll ask the user for the number of hellos. I'm going to use print instead of println. Sorry, I made a grammar mistake there. Okay, so we'll ask the, the user, enter a value, and we will write hello this many times. See how I've used single quotation marks around hello instead of double quotation marks, because obviously if I use double quotation marks then this is one string, and this is one string, but this in the middle isn't. So I need to use single quotation marks. There we go. And then we print this. Um, and like so. So we'll assign the value the user inputs into a variable of type integer called input. So, up to here, nothing new. Now, we have the number of times the user wants to repeat the loop, but we don't have a way to actually do that yet. So what we need to do is count in the loop how many times we've repeated so far, and then once we get to a number of repeats that's equal to the number the user wanted to repeat, we will stop. So I think code is going to explain this easier. We're going to create a, a variable called index of type integer that is going to start at the value 0. Every time we get to the end of the loop, we're going to increase this index by 1. Remember that the two plus signs here mean to increase the value by 1, and this and this is the same thing. So here we're going to do plus plus, and this increases the value by 1. And then, if we keep the while true here, we're still going to repeat an infinite number of times. So what we want to do is we want to only repeat while the index is less than the input. And what we're going to achieve here is that if the user inputs the value 5, and index is 0 at the beginning, 0 is less than 5, so we repeat once, and then we increase. Index is now equal to 1. 1 is less than 5, so we repeat. And we can see that it's going to get there until 5 is less than 5, which is false. So when index is equal to 5, we will not repeat. So it's going to go from 0 to 4. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. That is equal to 5 times that we're going to repeat. So even though we're going to start counting at 0, and the user has asked for 5, because we're going from 0 to 4, that is 5 times. Let's try to run this and see what happens. There we have it. We have five hellos. Let's try to swap this hello by something a bit more meaningful. 
for example, the index. So here we're going to print the values from 0 to 4 if we select 5. So there we have it. Okay, so what else can we do with this? To be honest, not a lot more. The while loop is used in these scenarios where you want to check for one thing or you want to repeat something while something is happening. In the next programming video, after the next presentation, we're going to take a look at for loops. For loop is a bit more versatile sort of loop. So we'll take a look at that and um, that will be a bit more interesting. The while loop is really simple. This is all there is to the while loop. Um, while some condition is true, we do something else. And for now, there is not much use we can give it, but when we start programming our larger programs, I'm sure we'll find something to do with the while loop. So stick with me, let's go into the for loop, which is going to be very interesting.